Greetings, you people. Hello, my king. How's it going? How has it been? This is Bryce Stone. I do indeed welcome you to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday morning heroes, everybody. We are back, and it's time for us to get started once again. I am here with Quill18. Hey, folks. Demonac. Greetings. Yeah. And the oh. lovely Kiss for Luck. Hey, you. As well as Abella, apparently, because I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bells. So, guys, um, I'm excited about today for a few reasons. Uh, one of the main reasons is that um, things can go uh, and get pretty hectic. I, I don't know which way you guys are going to go, but I have a feeling that things are going to be fun, um, regardless of which way you guys go. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get some FaceTime continue. Let's get started, as it were. And three, and two, and one, and faces. Everybody's here. Should be here. Well, that's a face. <laughs> that, that's a cool face, everybody. <laughs> All right. Ah, so guys, um, I suppose everybody, um, uh, also every viewer needs to uh, get a, a bit of an update, um, as it were, as to what ended up happening. It's been a couple weeks since the last time we played, and um, specifically, should I start from the beginning for anybody who's new? I will say we were... this. I, I, I I'll try to do it this way. I, I will say that um, there has been some incredible sort of elemental things happening in and about the world and uh, mm -hmm. these particular player characters have, have noticed um, something has been amiss, something has been wrong and um, there's been several happenings. There's been undead that they fought and won against. There has been some intrigue in, a, in their own hometown um, which has been brought to, uh, well, as, about a mu as, as much justice as you might be able to say could happen, at least in the short term. And currently, they are out and about trying to find some dangerous, dangerous orcsies to uh, put down, as it were, um, because, well, they're dangerous, right? Everybody be very, very quiet. We're hunting orcs. <laughs> oh, no. Basically. In Quill with the little gun. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give people some, uh, some vision here on the, on the table. Um, if you remember correctly, yeah, that one building is still on fire. You guys are, are seeing this, right? You see uh, the fire? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I would have assumed yeah. that the building would have, like, be down to smoldering ash at this point. This is this is true. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did go and find the orcs that were with the cart after this. Right. Um, let's go ahead and get over to this here. I'm going to go background. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the flame down to a minimum smoldering, as, as you mentioned. Because we had come back here if after I... rescuing, um, yeah, I guess the, was it was the wife from the wife. This, this homestead, right? <laughs> I hear a bell. Oops, I now, didn't mean to move. We still have, around. we still have an orc that was all tied up. I think we were, we were resting here because we'd been pretty beaten up by the last fight, right. and the orc needed a couple hours to regain consciousness. Okay. Um. Okay, that's very good. I'm just zooming out so I can see what's happening here. There we go. And the... Did that move the whole world again? I did. All I'm trying to do is move the map. There we go. We've already got a donation for the day. Hendrick NL with a $5 donation. Thank you very much for that generosity, sir. And did I just lose two people? Oh, there's one. You no, just uh, lost me for the first time this something. morning. No, I see you now. Everything's fine. Yeah, I just come back. It just died. The whole thing died. I had to open it all up again. Okay. And, uh, but at least it came back without a reboot this time. Bad technical problems this morning, yeah, folks. Apparently. Sorry about that. Yeah, and I can see Demonac fine. I'm just looking at the... Uh... Oh, no, there he goes. Is he gone? Is he gone yeah. on YouTube? Okay. Mm. Um, well, I... I mean... Oh, I can hear him. Oh, I think I'm still here. Every, every camera. While everyone goes robotic to me. Your camera went. Yeah. Uh, yeah, your camera go bye bye. You guys are your cameras are gone except for Brian. I don't know. Weird, eh? This is new internet. Very weird. Apparently, it's got uh, needs some patching. The internet washed its hair and he can't do a thing with it right. this morning. Desart, hello and welcome. I see you. Mm. Hello, folks. Hendrick, hello. <laughs> We're gonna have a couple of uh, a couple of seconds here while we while we get Demonet back in. Things I can talk about um, while he is not here currently is stuff that he already knows about, which is yeah, you you guys do have uh, indeed a live, uh, a bit unconscious at the moment, but a live orc that you you, you caught. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And, we have to um, question this person. Yeah. Thing. 
I mean, it's still going to be out for quite some time. I believe it was um, was it 1D4 hours, and I think it was like three or four hours. I think I rolled max, four which is like four hours, yeah. Um, so yeah. whether unless you guys want to give them some sort of health potion or healing, or it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while. Do you have any smelling salts in your healing kit? I yeah. can heal? Do you have smelling salts, Demonac? No, no, I just... Noting that back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yubik, with a dollar thirty. Thank you very much. I have healing things. I mean, we can, we can make him well. Mm. Well, if you want to waste your healing stuff on an orc, I mean, I don't like the you. idea. I mean, should we just let him die? <clears throat> no, no, no. We have to question him first. Mm. Fine. Or we could just kill him. My track. <laughs> oh, okay. I take out my dagger and I stab the orc. <laughs> What? 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 What's going on? Sorry. Repeat. I don't know. She said she can just track instead, so I I kill the orc. <laughs> oh, well, that For that real? is actually yeah, absolutely. Tao just says, oh, okay, and it's like this is nothing. This is less than you know putting down an animal an butchered or anything like that. Yeah. She sees orcs as being nothing at all. You know, yes. at worst, yeah. like or at best, you know, sort of like natural force yeah. or like force of nature. Yeah. It's like. Ignores it like you would ignore a breeze. Right. Yeah. Fine and it makes with sense. Me. It's totally in character. <laughs> I, I know because well both both um to my knowledge, both Tao and Lisan they have issues. Have, yeah, you, you you literally just hate orcs. Um No no no, you can't hate something that isn't you know it's, again it'd, it'd be like it would be like hating the wind. Doesn't make any sense. Right. You just Oh you're you're beyond <laughs> it. You're you're yeah, so yeah, they're yeah. not even a thing. That's oh. the way Tao deals with it. Is she, she has to have. She's become oh, so attached to it. Otherwise, things would be worse. Right. Also, <laughs> yeah. I want to point out. I hear a. I hear a bumping. I, I, is it from? Uh, I believe. It's... I, I th yeah, it's Ava. Every time uh, Bella bumps to the table it's, or something. It's yeah. that far away. Oh, maybe. Oh, you know what? It might be from down there. Okay, it's don't. Still bump. Definitely happening. Don't bump. It's usually against the lamp, but I made sure this morning there was a big gap. So something else. I don't know what it is. Don't touch me. <laughs> okay. Anonymous, with $3. Thank you very much. Um, so, what do you guys want to do from here? I mean, apparently the orc is now dead. You spent some amount of yeah. effort to keep him alive, and now he's when, not. When Tao goes to stab him, Eric, Eric just kind of like help, like reaches out helplessly for, like I said, like he just wasn't expecting that. But <laughs> Right. Women. <laughs> it's like, you never know, right? It's going to, you know, Tao, when Tao's around, what's going to happen? Um... So no, nobody makes any any effort to stop her. So that the, the orc is now dead. Okay. Um, so, like we now, could. You do have. <laughs> not, not quick enough. Wasn't expecting it. Right. Um, you do have. Uh, um, the, what's her name? I didn't actually work out. <laughs> that was loud. Chemical crash. Fifty dollars. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wow. Um, oh, I haven't. Wow. Or heard any. Sorry, headphone users. Yeah, um, that always hurts. Um, so, four. There it is. Now I hear. Okay. Your, you know, conversation. You still have the the lady that you saved. Um, now yes. She, she, and we heal bit... her husband. Yep, yep. And he could be alive right now. Alive. He could be awake right now. Um, and being as coherent as he is, he, you know, you guys can question him if you want, or if you think that's not nice, then you can just, you know, bring him along with oh. you, try to get him back to safety instead of, you know, grilling him, interrogating him, or whatever. But uh, whatever, whatever you guys want to do right now. Okay, so they're they're back home. We saved the farm. We didn't save the barn. It looks like that was the barn that went down. But we saved their home and the other buildings. Yeah. We healed him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're definitely going to ask him what he knows about what's been going on out here in the countryside. Absolutely. Okay. Everything. Very much. Thank you for that. Although while you guys are are quizzing him, and I don't want to interrupt with that, I'm going to be grabbing the his, the orc's probably got an axe or something that he uses, right? Okay. Some sort of weapon. Right. He had something, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yo, he had, uh, he had an axe. He had a, just a standard Excellent. axe. I'm, I'm gonna grab it, and I'm just gonna go, like, just sit off by a wall, and I'm just gonna sort of hold it, and just, I'm just focusing and concentrating on the axe while you guys are, are questioning the man and the woman. Okay. I'm curious okay. about that. Um, all right. Um, so <laughs> while Tao is, is doing something weird in the corner, um... There's a, there's a conversation going on. So how do you want to, how do you want to proceed? I will answer any question that I that I can. Um. 
Okay, is, is this the first you've heard of orcs? In, I mean, when you were attacked today, was this a surprise? Did you know there were orcs in the area? What can you tell us? What happened? Um, and, and this is directed towards the, the woman or the man? Well, I don't know. Either they're, they're one. Both there, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, both there. Yeah, yeah, both. Um, they they right. can so, share the question. I will, yes. I will, I will, uh, I will say that the, If they're the man, married, they both have you know, joint ownership. The, right. the, question is an, the question is an AOE. <laughs> there you go, baby. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Totally tossed out the AOE question, yeah. Um, so I, I will say that the, the guy starts to answer first. Um, about, uh, yeah, no, the orcs have, have, have always been a plague to um, oh, the lower, to the, the south. Lower south. Everybody knew about that. And now I'm, and now I got Echo. Yeah. What is that? Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Lots of technical difficulties this morning, so. Um, There's no way to tell where the sound is coming no. from. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's gone now. It's gone, okay. That was weird. I All right, so, um, yeah, no, the orcs have always been a problem to the to the southernmost area, and it's only recently that they, they've had issues up this far. They've never had issues with orcs up this far. And in fact, he says that uh, when he when he heard about, you know, some 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 problems, some uh, uh, raiding happening further south, he sort of just overall ignored it because he was thinking, well, south, obviously, well, that happens, right? Whatever. Um, but he didn't realize that it was actually coming this far north and then when it did hit um he was actually as surprised and it's at this particular moment where his wife turns to him and uh with this ridic ridicule um bit of a look in her eye and telling him about you know specifically i told you they were coming i knew <laughs> they were coming uh -oh. <laughs> um you denied it and here we are in this mess and you and you could have died and she's actually angry um so yeah and then then there's like some sort of like weird silence between the two. Yeah. I don't want to say I told you so, but yeah. but I just told you so. Mm -hmm. Did orcs uh, did orcs say anything when they were you know burning buildings and stupid things like that? Were, were they saying any words in common? Um, no, actually, this 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 guy unfortunately does not speak um, orc either. But no, he. he... Thoughtful. He looks that was loud. Lord of Time with fifty one dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, but uh, he looks thoughtful for a second. Like he's, he's he's almost like he's trying. He's trying to remember. Is there anything in specific that there there could have been? And uh, he 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 doesn't have anything. Um, th there was a lot of you know sort of chuckling though. There's a chuckling going on. Um, almost like they were telling each other jokes or something. Is is best he can say. Okay. But this is the first time you've seen an orc. They just stormed your farm today, this morning, whatever. Morning, yeah. Afternoon, whatever it is. And yeah, this okay. is the first time he says this is the first time he's he's ever seen seen an orc. And uh, okay. as far as he's concerned, he he would like to never see an orc that close again. A neighboring farms, friends, relatives you have in the area when you're at marketplace. What have you been hearing? What's happened to other people? Do you know any other farm that's gone down like this in this area? Well, a lot of the people have uh, just they in and around the other farms nearest to him. Um, yeah, they have sort of left their farms. Um, and then when he says that, he sort of bows his head again and looks a little bit ashamed as again, he gets another glare. <laughs> um, they have they have left their farms and they went to join um, the Delman Ranch because the Delman Ranch is the only place um, other than Belliard in in the area that has um, walls, you know, something to protect them. And uh, you know, the, the Delman is very very uh, Mr. Delman himself is very very um, um, oh, he's nobility okay. first of all. And he's very charismatic, and apparently he's been able to to get people to to come to his ranch and to help defend. It's like trying to do a sort of a um, like a what do militia. Call it? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I just sorry guys, and it's been a couple of weeks, and it, so we were in Belliard, and then we saw the fire, and it was just a farm outside of town. So we went out, tracked two orcs there, saw yeah. the others leaving. We took care of, okay, and, and we're on the farm. So we're just a little bit, what, in, um, east of Belliard at this point? Um, yes, I'm currently you're, you're, e you're east of Belliard. Um, sort of okay. more, more east than north, but kind of like a little okay. bit north. Yeah. That's okay. Alrighty. Okay, that's good. I just want to make sure I knew where we were. Okay. Good. Alrighty. <clears throat> All right. 
Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, and from the body language, you can pretty much gather that uh, it's been a bit of a conversation between the two. Yeah. Um, about how they probably should have just left and joined everybody else. But, you know. The wife wanted to go to safety and the husband figured, nah, it'll never happen here. Sort yeah. Of, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, possi- what could possibly happen? Could possibly go wrong. Exactly. That. <laughs> Oops. So, Lisa, you you expert on the orcs and stuff, right? You think they avoid the one place that defended, or you think they take advantage and just burn everything else? Um, Lisa, make burn. a uh, make a knowledge roll. They're gonna um, burn everything else. Yeah, but are they gonna burn everything else and avoid the places defended, or are they gonna gather together and try and take down the places defended? So a knowledge of what role? Um, I'm trying to think of the actual best. Orcs best. are my people, my yeah. hated people. <laughs> I'm trying to think. And you know what? Yeah, no, because they are your your favorite enemy, right? You know yep. all. You yeah. know all there is to know about orcs. Never mind. Don't make the role. It's fine. Um, you know immediately Ooh. that um, in, in terms of a, a militia or, or you know any any stronghold, if you will, in an area, is a show of power. Orcs like to, to. No, they'll take it as a challenge. They take it as a challenge. Yeah. So okay. there is a there is a show of power happening, um, according to them, and they're probably, as far as you would know, if they okay. go their standard course, they would definitely hit. That's that. going to be a target. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess the other thing we have to figure out is: are they more likely to target there or Belliard itself? No. Like, yeah. How, not... Like how big is? How big is Belliard relative to this ranch? So- um, the Belliard is slightly um, no, it's definitely bigger. At least Belliard has more people in it. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is currently Belliard is further away, and okay. orcs, although they they are quite um, you know brash, uh, they're, they're not stupid. Um, Going against Belliard sort of first seems kind of dumb when you can get sort of like pincered in the middle, right? I mean, they're they're smart. They're not going to uh, do that. That's what Lasan thinks. Put another way, they're lazy. They're not going to walk all the way to Belliard for a fight when there are a bunch of farmers over here. There's that too. Yeah, why would they skip it? Yeah. So we're closer to the Delman Ranch than we are to Belliard at this point? Yeah, Delman Ranch is not very far, far from where you are right Where's now. Where's the Anderil Farm miles. compared to where we are? Is that At, where we are? Yeah, you're at the Andrew Farm right now. That's, oh, you know, keto, you sa- the, the buildings that you okay. saved, except for the one to the farthest right. north there, that's they're all okay, around. Okay, that's cool. Alice thank you. Okay. But, so. So. And we, the guys that were leaving with the wife, the, the wagons that we followed, we took that team out. They were heading north. Um, up to the pass? So, yeah, like more north and, and, and east. Um, right now, um, as far as the directions that you can get from from uh, the gentleman that you saved, the Delman Ranch is is north, but a little bit further west. It's northeast from... of this farm. Yeah, exactly. No, or sorry, a little bit north. Um, I'm looking at the map. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mostly north, yeah. Okay. Well, we should... We should probably head there if you think that farmers congregate and you know it's on weight it's closer to on way to billiard right like we could probably just avoid it but we should we should take these guys just you know head down there see how things going at delman ranch and then if if it's okay maybe they maybe we can take them on to billiard who knows yeah and that and you're not getting any argument from um uh, from the wife of the man there. I should have names for these guys, but I don't. Um, you're not getting any argument for her because you can basically see as you say that if she was like nodding, like you know, this was like her idea from the beginning um, okay. was to go and and be a part of the larger group of people, more safety in numbers, you know, that sort of thing yeah. at the Delmar. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we can escort them there. That yeah. seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Anything else you want to do around in this area? Well, just not burn the rest of the ten minutes. Yeah, when, I just have one right. question. Yes. Um, okay, I just want to make sure. I, I yeah. Okay, so we're at a farm, and the uh, Delman Ranch is off, off to the northeast. <clears throat> the people, the orcs we were following, were they heading toward the Delman Ranch? Were they heading more north than that? 
I thought it, we were, they were heading north. I may even have that wrong. Were they going toward the Delman Ranch or in some other direction? Um, oh, yeah, they, they were, they were going, well, in the direction of, uh, well, where, where you guys caught them, they were sort of going in the direction of the Delman Ranch, yeah. But um, they were probably they heading probably. someplace else, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So after you guys, you know, this conversation has been going on, it takes me 10 minutes. But at some point, mm -hmm. my eyes just sort of like roll back in my head. And I start like blinking really, really fast. Uh oh. Good and job. And what I've done is so <laughs> I can read psychic imprints left on objects now. Because oh. we are now level three. We've leveled. We have yes, leaves. We're yeah. level three. So uh, if I hold and concentrate on an object for 10 minutes, I can learn some basic facts about the object. I gain a mental image from the object's point of view showing the last creature to hold the object, regardless of how long ago it was last handled. In addition, I also learn of any events that have occurred within 20 feet of the object within the last 24 hours. Events uh, per, uh, uh, unfold from the object's perspective. I can see in here, but I can't use any other senses. Now, I don't actually speak orcish, but what I'm getting is like a, I don't know, fast forward or maybe like fast rewind version of everything that's happened around this object, including, like, you know, fast traveling and points so i can see everywhere this orc has been in the last 24 hours in particular i'm interested to see if uh there has been any sort of orcish camps or anything that this orc has visited in the last 24 hours and uh, where that might be you know, so and if you can, backtrack that route if you can repeat any of the things that you hear any of the words you hear oh that's hard have you ever asked someone to try to repeat something they heard right. in a foreign language have you yeah, ever heard me try to speak French? You exactly. Even, you can't even hear the word breaks generally if you don't I know. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know what's I mean, a word and what's anything. Really specific know. words may be being shouted yeah. out, but repeating whole sentences or anything would be extremely difficult. Yeah. <laughs> if there are if there are any standout words I can I can repeat, then that might work. Yeah. It's unfortunate because Lasan, yeah, it does speak orc, but um it's not gonna work out yeah. for you there. Um uh, you know, as a as a as a DM and that ability, that's not annoying at all. Um, yeah, I was gonna say. Hey, I emailed you to let you know this was coming. I know. You were I know. Warned. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you see? What do you? Well, you hear a lot, but obviously, you're not quite picking up on that. Um, yeah. But right. So, and people in my chat have said, "Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a three-eyed raven now." That's that's very in Game that's, of Thrones. Yeah, that's yeah. very uh, apropos in this in this regard. You better. What do they call him? Warg. Call him Warg. Warg. So Somebody far. said uh, Quill Christ Quill just became overpowered. Just became just now. <laughs> just now, you mean? Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, there's a lot going on, and you know, what, what you see is a lot. Um, there's a lot of travel time as well. Uh, you see, um, lot, you see the fields that you see around you now. Really, just a lot of that, um, to which you you depict as being the orcs coming to here and Doral Farm. Mm -hmm. But prior to that. Yes, there is indeed a uh, an encampment, and there are many orc, and lots of like you know supplies, lots of um, uh, humans also in the camp, and in oh. different um, stages of dress. Also, some locked up, so, some beaten, some I was say, serving prisoners. Okay, yeah, some serving other orc. Um, like there was uh, one that was. Sort of like an older lady, she was uh, carrying on her shoulders like a big couple of uh, buckets of just like standard water buckets, but they seem to be full of some sort of food. Um, and yeah, the state of the humans in this in this camp, as you're, you're quite aware, is is not is not very good. However, you also catch glimpse before it seems like just before this orc that had this axe that you're you're looking at before they set out, there was a a massive pile of meat, um, and by that I mean possibly the largest orc you would ever heard of, like seen. You, you've never seen <laughs> oh, out of okay. all the other orcs. Like, what do they have? A pet dragon or something? No, no, no. <laughs> out of all the other orcs, this thing mm -hmm. is at least double in size. Like he's just massive. Oh, great! And, is there, like, um, a man that floats like, above his head. As well as What's that? Like, is he actually is he actually ten feet tall, or is it just like mostly bulk? Um, he's just mostly bulk. I mean, he is yeah. taller than the other orcs, um, he's, but he he's is just, just... two orcs on one skeleton. Basically. He is just, yeah, very massive. Also, you notice quite quickly that he only has one eye. 
So that's something. Of course. And, yeah. Um, yeah. He's one eye away from being superpowered. <laughs> <laughs> There's um, with no eyes. Those are the most dangerous ones, right? Yeah, I don't know how that works out. To be honest, it's like you know, <laughs> light travels faster than sound. So how are you faster if you never mind? Anyway, um, it, it, you know they don't focus on range attacks. Right. That's true. Um, right. So anyway, it almost seems like uh, this this big brute of an orc is um, almost giving a blessing to the the orc that you took the axe from before they set off. And then if you, yeah, it's just like a quick rewind back to where you are currently. Mm -hmm. And that said, though, you, you get a good vision. You get a good idea where this encampment is. You can, you know, it's not hard. These are planes. You can pretty much figure out where they are. But how many were there again? Like 50? Um, being in amongst the group, like, because you're looking through yeah, the eyes I'm, of I'm this orc. He, I'm not saying he gets a perfect head count, yeah, but, but there's a yeah. lot. It seems like there's a lot. Are they, are there like dozen, tents? four dozen, six dozen, some kind of estimate like that? Have they taken over a farm? You, you've you been saying that they've been like staying Wait. in farms. Have they taken over a farm? Mm -hmm. Is this um, just sleeping out in the open? Do they have half a dozen tents kicked up? <laughs> more <laughs> um yeah no currently where this encampment is there, there are um some remaining uh looks like human buildings okay there's some so remaining might around. Have been a farm before yeah so i mean like i gutted. think we should still uh help these this couple get, get to safe. that yeah. more um that the farm we're going to that's the one that's Delman. more defended right yeah yeah, yeah. it has walls, walls yeah. french yeah so bringing them there seems like a good first idea uh, and then we can also check what the situation is there, and if there's anyone around. I mean, at some point, we—I mean, we can't let those orcs, you know, have all those human prisoners. That's not right. I don't know how we go after the main body of this orcish horde. I don't know what we do about that, but we're going to have to do something. But I think first step is yeah, escort these people to the other farm. Well, yeah. oh. you know, if they if they have if they have walls, if we were defending walls with a bunch of other people against numbers. Like if there are enough people to ban yeah. the walls, then that could reduce the numbers a lot. And then we could think about assaulting the camp. Yeah. I mean, if, if they're going to attack there or if we can bait them to attack there, like, you know, you lose sort of the element, you lose the initiative, but you gain a much more defensive location. And yeah. if they're trying to organize themselves into a militia, I mean, I, I still wouldn't want, you know, an individual to go toe to toe with an orc, but, you know, if you've got people with bows, if you've got people doing stuff like that, like you can do a remarkable amount of things. You get people um, organized into a pike formation, you know, mm -hmm. with just some spears, yeah. which are pretty. I mean, you get some wooden poles and sharp at the end. There you go. You're pretty much you get done. That sort yeah, of hedge yeah. hedge thing going on. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's there's um, some some amount of evidence to at least to the couple here. There's some amount of evidence that um, it it would have been a much wiser idea to be at Delman Ranch. All right. Yeah, Delman oh, Ranch. Okay. Have... That's where we're going. Okay. Okay. All right. Um so so... Guess, during during the end of that ten minutes that we had them gathering up whatever stuff they needed to take with them. Yep. Whatever small amount of stuff they want to bring as, as we're taking them to shelter. Yeah. Personal items. Did they have I mean we we carried two carts back. Did they have a yeah. pony or a oxen or something are they loading up a wagon that we're escorting um yeah no in in the in the carts there's um there's a, a few different um types of foodstuffs um some grain that sort of thing as well some dried meats some barrels that have yeah basically more more dried meat um standard standard resources really there are some tools as well in there some bits of clothing almost just like just just cloth in various states of uh, disrepair. And, um, yeah, not much else besides that. Also, um, that, that's something else. Um, the, the guy does mention that um, his, you know, the orcs were trying to grab the horses, but the horses um, escaped the orcs at this particular point. 